Have you ever gotten back from a photography trip and you put all your photos in here and you're just overwhelmed with how many photos there are and the organization is all off? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly organize your Lightroom catalog so that you're not overwhelmed and you can quickly go through and edit your favorite photos. Hey guys, my name is David Johnson. On this channel, I help you improve your landscape photography with videos like this and others. So if you're into that, hit subscribe. Let's jump right into Lightroom and I'll show you how to do this. So if you see on your screen here, I have in this catalog alone 263 photos. That's pretty overwhelming when you get back and you just want to edit that one photo that you got. Well, you kind of have to sift through all this stuff. I'm going to show you how to do that. You can easily go with the numerical dates on all of these catalogs, or you can even right click and go to rename if that's easier for you to do. If you want to say, hey, I want to name it to the location that I was in. You can easily do that as well. I like the dates because it allows me to keep everything in chronological order, but that option is there for you. Next thing I do is just run right through all of these photos very quickly. I'm going to try to find some of these that I think are worth editing and then I'll dive into them more. So I see a lot of photos here, but maybe something like this immediately jumps out at me. If it does, I'm going to double click on it, do a quick inspection. I'm going to hit one on my keyboard. And what that does is it sets a one star rating down in the bottom of your screen. For me, that's the easiest way to do these because I'm going to elaborate on this star count in just a minute. So I'm just going to double click to go back to my library view and I'm going to quickly scroll through these and find a few more. Now, maybe you see a lot of photos that you like or you think you're going to like and you want to look at them a little bit closer. So I'm just going to double click on these. This is blurry, 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 blurry. Have you ever had that problem? All your photos are blurry from a trip. It's not a good feeling, but this is going to quickly allow you to go through and find the photos that you want. This one's pretty cool. I'm just going to hit a one key on that. And this one's cool. One key. And I'll just go through all of these and continue doing that. So when you've found a lot of photos that you really like and you've gone through all these very quickly like this process, all you have to do now is section these out. So I'm going to double click on my screen in my library catalog still. And up here in the top corner, you see filters off. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go down here to rated. That's going to show me all of my star ratings based on what I just went through in my catalog. So now automatically what I started with is 263. Now I'm down to, you know, maybe 20 to 25 photos that I can really get a handle on and start to edit and work with much better than 263. Here's how to get that even more dialed in so that you have better organization on that. For a lot of my photos like this one, I know it's a cool photo. I like it, but I'm not, probably not going to do much with it. I'm going to keep it as a one star. But there are those photos in your catalog where you really like what you did. They jump out at you. This is one of those for me. For me, if I really like a photo and I'm going through these a second time in this filtered rating, I'm just going to hit the 5 key on my keyboard and that's setting it to a 5 star. I just do a 1 and a 5 star because that just helps me see, wow, I really like this photo. I'm going to edit that later in post. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through these and find some that I really like. And let's just say this one, 5 star. I like that one. Then I'm going to double click on my library and instead of filtering these by rated, I can now filter these by star count. So on your screen, you see that I have a one star selected. I can easily just go in here and select five stars and now I have my favorite of my favorite selected out and I can edit those first. Then I can quickly go back and edit a lot of those others later. This is going to save you tons of time and easily organize your Lightroom catalog. If this helped, here's some more Lightroom tips that I know are going to help you with your photography. And here's another video that I really think you're going to like too.